How would you characterize where you guys are right now and how you're feeling? Um, you know, I mean, we're in a, you know, a must-win situation. Um, you know, preferably we would love to have it, you know, in our home, home building, which it is. And hopefully, uh, you know, we can feed off the energy our fans are definitely going to provide. They've done all season. And come out there and give a much better performance than we did yesterday. How, how uncharacteristic was last night compared to the way you guys were the first four games in the series? Uh, very un uncharacteristic. You know, it was just tough. You know, um, aside from the, the, the tough shooting night, we just didn't seem like we had the energy um, and the fight that we normally have uh, for 48 minutes. And I guess that was the part of it that kind of left the, the, the worst taste in our mouth, so to speak. And so um, just putting that game behind us, you know, still confident, um, you know, not worried at all, but definitely got to come uh, prepared to play as close to a 48 minute ball game as we can come Thursday. How do you explain that and how do you guard against it for the next game? Just because it's do or die? I don't know if it's a bit of fatigue, you know, flying back and forth with the game so close together, um, with the hard-fought battles we've had uh, with this ball club. Um, but we're not, a, you know, we don't make any excuses. They outplayed us, you know, for a point blank bottom line uh, from top to the bottom. And uh, we got to come out with that same type of intensity. Like I said, if we want to be successful and want to keep this season going on. You haven't dropped two games in a row in the playoffs yet. What does it say about the character of this team? Um, you know, we have a lot of fight, a lot of pride. Um, something that our coach has definitely instilled in us from day one. And, uh, you know, we have a pride about ourselves that we're not going to come out here and, um, you know, play with that lackluster type of effort, you know, um, especially in front of our home fans. So, like I said, I'm just looking forward uh, to game six and trying to extend this series. Jared, from what you saw, why do you think that No, no. Uh, I thought he just had, a, you know, just one of them nights. Um, you know, great players as they are, they usually don't have them two times in a row. So I know I'm looking forward to tomorrow, and I'm sure they are as well. Um, getting back on the shooting track for them uh, is easier than most players. So I'm sure, you know, hopefully we, we'll throw a couple wrinkles at them, maybe put them in a different uh, kind of position they haven't seen before and uh, kind of free them up a little bit more. Jared, how's Coach been an inspiring figure both before games, after games, in the huddle? Oh, he's been great. You know, um, a lot of us haven't been in this, these situations before, uh, being in the playoffs or late game situations. And uh, he does a tremendous job of keeping everybody calm. You know, he doesn't panic, um, never wavers. You know, it keeps a, a even kill um, facial expressions, emotions, and he conveys that to us as well. So I think that's the best part. You know, that was the way I think for a young team that we've been able to keep our composure, you know, throughout these playoffs. Is there anything specific he said to you? No. Um, me and him, we, we think a lot alike. Um, you know, just constantly telling me to make sure these guys are ready, prepared to go out there and, uh, you know, do the necessary things to, you know, be in uh, competition with these guys. How much of you guys have come to trust and sort of rely on Harris? I mean, it seems like he's come a long way from early and even middle of the season to now. Uh, he, he's definitely grown up, you know, in this last bit of the, bit of the season. Um, and he's a very confident kid, you know. Um, we put him in situations as to where we think uh, he can take advantage of his matchups. And uh, we're confident that when we do put him in those situations, he's going to make the right play, you know, regardless if it's him attacking the basket or making plays for others. And um, he's done a tremendous job excelling. And at this point in the season, man, we don't view anybody as rookies anymore anyway. So, you know, he's playing like somebody that's definitely wise beyond his years. Jared, any concern about the fact that uh, the Spurs have led almost the entire way the last three games after you guys did that the first two? Um, no, not really. You know, I mean, the name of the game is to be up when the, 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 the clock hits triple zeros, you know, regardless if you're winning the entire game or not. Um, and, you know, you got to take your hats off to them. They're a tremendous ball club, a team who executes like no other in the league probably. And uh, they do a good job of, you know, playing their style of ball for 48 minutes. And, you know, we, we've had these, you know, slippages of play uh, at certain points for whatever reason in the game, but have battled our way back to victories or, or fighting back in late game ball game situations. So, you know, I look forward to us tomorrow coming in and uh, hopefully giving our best effort of the season so far. Here, this is the first time you guys are facing elimination in these playoffs. What are you guys talking about amongst each other going into this situation? Nothing. There's no panic. You know, uh, we come in with the same mindset, the same focus that we have uh, in any other game. You know, no need to put any added pressure. Um, bottom line, we have to win, you know, to extend this season and to keep what we have going here. So other than that, I mean, nothing else needs to be talked about. No extra motivation should be needed.